Hello, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com. The Center for Climate and Energy Solutions created this document, a climate of extreme weather events. Extreme weather events have always been an important part of our climate history. The Dust Bowl drought of the 1930s, the 1927 Mississippi River flood, and the 1980 heat wave that blanketed much of the Midwest are just a few examples of extreme events that are etched in our nation's history. Then they go on to say, a large body of scientific evidence suggests that droughts, floods, and heat waves are likely to become more frequent and or intense. Instead of looking at their imaginary large body of evidence, let's look at the graph they actually presented. The graph shows record high temperatures in the United States increasing since the 1950s and record lows decreasing. They know about the extreme weather of the 1920s and 1930s, but for some reason they started their graph in the 1950s. If we look at the complete U.S. data set, we can see why they hid the data before the 1950s. There are 647 United States Historical Climatology Network stations which have a record which is at least 100 years long. This graph shows in red the number of daily record maximum temperatures per year and in blue the number of record minimums. You can see that extreme temperatures were much more common prior to 60 years ago. Had the Center for Energy and Climate Solutions presented their complete data set, it would have ruined their entire proposition. People would be seeing a decrease in extreme temperatures instead of an increase if they used the complete data set. Then they went on to make predictions about 1995 like Chicago heat waves. The graph shows that if we keep increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, there's going to be a huge number of heat waves at the end of the century. They started their graph in 1970, and most of their graph is just speculation about the future. Let's take a look at why they hit all these Chicago heat waves prior to 1970. In 1975, the Chicago Tribune said, it's getting colder, and asked if there was a new ice age on the way soon. In the last decade, the Arctic ice and snow cap has expanded 12%, and for the first time in this century, ships making for Iceland ports have been impeded by drifting ice. Many climatologists see these signs as evidence that a significant shift in climate is taking place, a shift that could be the forerunner of an ice age, like that which gripped much of the northern hemisphere before retreating 10,000 years ago. If we look at the complete Illinois data set, we can see why they hid all the data before 1970. Illinois afternoon temperatures peaked in 1921 and were much hotter prior to 1970. Nighttime temperatures in Illinois also peaked in 1921 and were generally warmer during the 1930s than they have been in recent years. The number of 90-degree days in Illinois is down more than 75% since the 1930s. This graph plots the number of 90-degree days in Illinois versus atmospheric carbon dioxide. As atmospheric carbon dioxide has increased, the frequency of 90-degree days has plummeted in Illinois. The Center for Climate and Energy Solutions graph is both cherry-picked and misrepresents the actual trend. The hottest day in Chicago was July 24, 1934, when they reached an incredible 109 degrees. During July 1936, Detroit averaged one heat death every 10 minutes over a period of six days. The Chicago Tribune wrote this article in 1963, explaining that the belief in climate change is due to faulty memories. And organizations like the Center for Climate and Energy Solutions are doing everything they can to create faulty memories in the public. Through the misuse of data, they're attempting to reinforce a widespread superstition that climate is controlled by the type of energy we use. They claim they have climate and energy solutions, which means they're selling wind and solar power. And they're using fake data to try to get people to purchase the products which they're promoting. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this climate energy superstition for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, Caesar, Toki, and Upla on the web at realclimatescience.com.